At HS, we are always trying to reduce the homeless pet population, but can you guess the number one way to do that? Well, we're going to tell you all about that and so much more right here on Pets on Parade. and welcome to Pets on Parade, brought to you by 3TV. My name is Kelsey Dickerson with the Arizona Humane Society. Thank you so much for joining us this week. And of course, we have some absolutely adorable pets also joining us, including the beautiful Kiki, who we're going to tell you all about her second chance at a good life in just a few minutes. And we always talk about the importance of spay and neuter. And today we have an expert to tell you all about that, plus a great special that we're running in honor of World Spay Day taking place place in February. It's an important segment that you won't want to miss. And I'm not sure we've ever had anything so small here on Pets on Parade. And while he is definitely not the size of one, Little Artichoke has the heart of one. We'll meet this sweet guy soon. But first, let's introduce you to my co if we have any Red Sox, Celtics, or perhaps even Patriots fans, then you'll love Boston. This is a picture of him when he was first brought to us at just two months old, when he was found by an EAMT under a shed covered in mud. The now five-month-old cutie has been in foster care since then for a number of different reasons, including some tummy issues and a bout with ringworm, but he is all better now thanks to foster hero Tara. Tara says Boston is full of heart and sass and fun, just like his fellow Bostonians. If you'd like to meet this sweetheart, make sure to come down to our campus for compassion today. And if anyone is a Drake fan, then this dog will have you singing, Kiki, do you love me? <laughs> but Perry, I think you were mentioning something about Ellen John, maybe? Kiki D? Was that <laughs> Don't Go Breaking My Heart or something? Is that the name of that song? <laughs> this little gal right here is an eight-month-old eight husky, uh, well, we sing shepherd mix, but I really don't see much more than husky in this doggie. And she was an owner surrendered for they just not having enough time for her. And, you know, when you go to select a pet to bring into your home, you have to do a little bit of research on that pet in terms of, like, their, their age and energy needs, their grooming requirements, the amount of money it's going to cost you to have them, and make wise decisions like that. Like this doggy right here, eight-month-old, this is a very, very difficult age for dogs. They are pretty much full-grown, so now they are big, strong 50-pounders like this, but they have the mind of a little tiny child because she is a very much of a puppy at this point, so she's very, very energetic. So when you're making that decision, again, take all those things into account. However, don't also forget just to meet the dog, too. So don't go by stereotypes of breed all the time. You do have to meet them face-to-face -face and decide whether it's the best pet for you. Kiki here is absolutely gorgeous. She loves everybody. She's got a blue eye and a brown eye. She knows all of her basics. She knows sit, stay down. She walks very, very nicely on leash. And she's going to lay down now and show you what a good girl she is. She is really, really beautiful. And if you ever want a husky, I think they're the prettiest dogs in the world. Come on down and check out Miss Kiki here. Wow, you can't get closer to having a wolf in your house and look right. at those eyes. Thank you so much, Perry. And we made a little artichoke joke earlier, but for real, this little guy might not even be the size of an artichoke leaf, Denise. No, he is very <laughs> tiny. And he came to the Arizona Humane Society with his mom and siblings. So, unfortunately, a male and a female hamster got put together. We don't know if it was by accident, but we want to remind everybody that we want to try to keep males and females separate so we don't have little baby hamsters as cute as they actually are. If you do find yourself with a mom hamster and babies, you want to make sure that you provide her a safe area away from other pets in the house. Cover the cage with a light sheet so mom and babies can have some privacy. And t make sure you take out the exercise wheel and toys because they can actually injure the really small babies. Hamsters make wonderful pets. They need special hamster food and can have a variety of vegetables such as baby carrots. And they like very small pieces of chicken and um, some dark leafy greens like spinach. Yes, those are awesome 
tips on if you find yourself with some baby hamsters. Thank you so much, Denise. And you guys might remember Gus, who we told you about quite a few months ago. This sweet boy has been in our care for over 150 days. Well, these photos of Gus with his BFFs, Amber and Sarah, prove that a dog's behavior in their kennel is not always their behavior outside of it. If you pay Gus a visit and are put off by his vocal welcome to visitors, just ask to spend some time with him in the play yard. We dare you not to fall in love, and he is available at our Sunny Slope location. And our next sweet girl is definitely a queen in her own right, and as tough as the queen she's named after, for all of our uh, fellow Star Wars fans, they're sure to love Amidala, Elisa. Oh, she is the sweetest mm -hmm. thing with the longest little chihuahua legs. She's only 11 pounds. She's four years old, so she is already full grown. You know what you're getting with this girl. She'll beg for you to pick her up by putting her legs gently up on you. She's very sweet. Sadly, she was found um, hit by a car by a good Samaritan, and they scooped her up out of the road and took her to the nearest emergency animal clinic. So luckily, all of our partners at Emergency Animal Clinic will take in injured animals uh, because we understand everybody can't either get the animal or can't get them to the Amer Arizona Humane Society. So if you take an injured animal to the nearest EAC, they will stabilize them. And uh, she was given some pain medication. They weren't exactly sure what was wrong with her. And then they contact the Arizona Humane Society. Our EAMTs go out and pick these guys up at emergency animal clinics every day and bring them back for treatment at the Second Chance Animal Hospital. Although she has these long, beautiful legs, she was able to keep from any of them breaking. And they just had a few wounds that they treated in the uh, Second Chance Animal Hospital. And she is now healthy and happy to find her forever home. Oh my gosh, so sweet. And now we want to introduce you to a girl who is also looking for her forever home. This is Mika, and she has been with us since December. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cute video of her. meet her at our campus for compassion and like we mentioned earlier we'll be talking all about the importance of spaying and neutering your pets in honor of world spay day taking place later this month make sure to stay tuned